Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joe and today I wanted to talk about Google's new Google Prompt feature, which is a new method for authentication, for two-factor authentication on Google accounts. This is a really convenient feature for those of you who maybe don't have two-factor authentication set up if you don't want to go through the hassle of it. Now it's a lot easier and if you know me then you know I'm a big supporter of enabling two-factor authentication. I think all of you should enable it and now there's an even easier way to do it. So how this new Google prompt method works is instead of having to type in a code that sent your phone or anything like that with Google prompt now you basically log in, type in your password and then a simple dialogue pops up on your phone. You get a notification that says are you trying to log in? Yes or no. It's that simple and then you can just click the button instead of having to go through and type in the code that you got for the text message or if you have Google Authenticator app you have to open up that whole app, find the code and all that nonsense. Now it's much easier. You just say yes or no and if you didn't try to log in then you'll get that notification that obviously someone was able to know your password and you should do something about that. And this does work with both Android and iPhone, but if you're going to use it on iPhone, you have to download the Google app for it to work. And this is probably the easiest method for two-factor authentication I've seen recently, at least. I know I already mentioned the codes that you can get. There are several options for Google accounts. Also, Google Authenticator, so you don't have to get a text message. You use an app. And then there's also a physical security key you can use. I've talked about all those in the past. But those are all a little bit less convenient. You know, with the Authenticator app, you have to go open the app, find the code, all that. With the key, you have to go fumble for it. If you don't have it already out, the text message, you have to wait for it. With this, it's just a notification pops up, yes or no, and then you're done. Now, I think this is a great idea. It's going to be useful for people who want to enable two-factor authentication but don't want the inconvenience of a code. But of course, there are some downsides in terms of security, specifically for people who may be accidentally clicking yes when they didn't mean to or they didn't try to log in. I'm sure if you are someone who logs in and every time you do, you always click yes. Yes, of course, I'm logging in. But then that one time it comes through, you're not paying attention, you click yes, and then someone gets access to your account. So I would say, you know, really you should use the codes. I mean, if you're that lazy where you can't spend an extra two seconds to type in a code for the security of your email account, which ties into all your other accounts, you kind of you have to reconsider. But I guess if you really want the convenience, this will be good for you. So if you're using a code, there's no real risk of accidentally sending it to the hacker. I mean, you wouldn't even know how to send it to them unless there's some sort of man-in-the-middle attack, but we're not going to get into that. So if you were actually using this new prompt feature, I guess the one red flag would be that you get a notification when you didn't try to log in. Now another thing to note is I found out this feature does not work if you have a security key. For some reason, I don't know what that is, I use security keys on all my accounts so I'm not going to be able to even use this, but it says that you can't use this prompt feature if you have a security key, you have to remove them first. So maybe they don't want the easy convenient method undermining your other secure methods. I don't know, but it's just something to be aware of. So if you've been waiting to enable two-factor authentication, despite all my warnings and pleas to enable it, now you literally have no excuses, even though I honestly cannot recommend that you would use this over a code, which means using either a text message or a authenticator app like Authy or Google Authenticator. But if you really are so lazy that you don't even want to type in a code, this is better than nothing. So hopefully you guys at least found this helpful and I beg you to enable two-factor authentication in some way. And if you want to keep watching, I've got some other videos where I talk about two-factor authentication on the right-hand side. You can just click those, but the link's also in the description. Also, if you guys want to subscribe, I make new videos three times a week, so I think it should be worth it. Looking forward to hearing from you guys, what you think down in the comment section or on Twitter as well. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.